Hey there guys, Stormlord with Lush Gaming. Thanks for checking out this video. I'll try and keep this intro short. What we're going to be doing is testing the stock AMD CPU compound for the Ryzen series chips. And we're going to compare it to the aftermarket Arctic MX4 thermal compound. We'll see which one is better, if one is outrageously better than the other, and whether or not it's worth you to spend the $7 to $15 on the thermal compound to um, get better performance out of your chip or uh, cooler temperatures. So we'll take a look at that here at the end of the video. For those who wish to just skip to the data, it'll be towards the end of the video. I will do a quick intro on the components we'll be using. So we're going to be starting off with obviously the 3900X uh, 12 core CPU by AMD. We're going to be using the RAF Prism cooler and the stock CPU uh, compound that comes with it pre-applied. We're going to run some tests on that. We're going to be having that CPU in an Asus or Asus uh, 470X motherboard. We're going to be running a 390 R9 MSI graphics card and uh, the Ripjaw DDR4 3200 RAM with 32 gigabytes of that. All that's going to be in an Antec 900 cooler, meaning we have 420 millimeter fans on there running at 100% and uh, a top BFF for a uh, big fan. I, I'm not exactly sure how big it is, 270 or something like that. And that as well, all the fans will be at 100%. The fan curve for the CPU will be at 100%, so that way we can see what the overall distribution of heat with this CPU is. Ran under several different um, benchmarking softwares like Prime95, Cinebench, Heaven, and as well in-game performance from the chips and compare the two CPU compounds. So without further ado, why don't we dive right in. All right, the first thing we took a look at was the idle temperature, that blue bar being the stock paste average and the gray bar being the average MX4 temperature. Next after that, we have the orange and yellow bars. Those are the maximum temperatures we observed with the stock paste and the MX4. The idle temperature was about eight degrees or 8% uh, colder at idle between the stock paste and the MX4 paste. Next, we went into Prime 95. There wasn't much of a difference between the average, but the spikes were about six to 8% lower with the MX paste versus the stock paste. After that we went over to Cinebench. We didn't see too much of a difference between that. In gameplay is where we began to see more of a difference with those lower average temperatures and much lower uh, spikes in temperature while in game, which usually results in a more efficient processor and definitely improves the life of the processor as well running at colder temperatures. So to summarize, the MX4 paste did reduce temperatures, not as much for average temperatures, however the average temperatures were about 4-6% to colder. Uh, it more or less really reduced the spike temperature, the maximum temperature of in-game performances and on a couple of the uh, uh, benchmark softwares. However, if you're looking to drastically reduce the temperature of your CPU, I would just recommend getting a beefier air cooler, either by Cooler Master or getting an AIO or an all-in-one water cooler. Uh, that would be the way to go if you're looking to really reduce your temperatures. But for a seven to fourteen dollar purchase, uh, you'll be looking at four to ten percent colder temperatures when running uh, most games and software on your computer using this compound. And also, the thermal compound isn't necessarily sold. For um, colder temperatures, it basically just transfers heat a little bit faster than the stock compound and it has a longer life. As usual, us here from Lush Gaming appreciate you guys taking a look at our videos and if you'd like to see more content, some tech, mostly gameplay, of us doing some commentary in games, go ahead and check out our channel, give us a like if you like what you see and possibly a sub if you really like what you see and uh, drop down some comments down there on what you guys would like to see in the future and your thoughts on this video.